Hey folks, uh, we are solving uh, linear quadratic systems uh, using the graphing method. That's what this one's about. The next the method will do the algebra stuff. So, so how can we solve a system that is part linear and part quadratic by graphing? Here we go. So solve the given linear quadratic system graphically. So we're going to get approximate answers. We won't get the exact answers on some of these because it just depends on how well we are graphing. Okay, so I have a line on top, the red guy, and then I have a quadratic parabola on the bottom. Let's graph the line first, okay? So what we did is um, we subtracted 2x first, and then we divided everything by negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So here's y equals mx plus b. So we'll go down to this minus 3 first. I'll plot a point. They're going by 2, so 2, 3. So I'm going to plot a point at minus 3 right there. And then the slope is 2 over uh, two over 1. So from this minus 3, we're going to go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Uh, so when we go up 2 over 1, sorry, there's someone at my door is telling them to go away. <laughs> uh, we got that line right there, okay? Uh, and then, okay, this parabola has vertex negative 1, negative 6, okay? Negative 1, negative 6 is right there. And this is set up to graph, so I'm going to go um, over 1 up 2 times 1 squared. So over 1 up 2 times 1 squared, which is 2. So over 1, it's going to be a parabola, up 2 times 1 squared. So it's 2 on each side. Now we'll go over 2. Over 2, it's going to go up 2 times 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, then 8. So 2, 4, 6, and then 8. It's going to, my finger's not, okay, right there, okay, on both sides, all right? If I go over 3, up, up 2 times 3 squared, well, 3 squared is 9, then 2 times that is 18. Well, that's way up here in the word problems right up there, okay? So here's our parabola, all right? So we're interested in where this red line and this blue parabola intersect each other. It looks like they're intersecting right about there and right about there so this is where we got to start guessing you guys okay so we're we're mostly looking at your graphs as teachers are so um, this is two right here so this is uh, negative one right there so I'm guessing like negative 1.5 ish right there and it's not quite down to negative six so I'm gonna say negative 1.5 negative uh, 5.5 okay and this will be well, I don't know 0.5 and then what did I do? Like negative 2.5. Okay, so just guessing on there. They're just guesstimate answers. So anything that, that's close enough, we'll give you credit on that. Okay, and those aren't the exact answers. We'll find those out the algebra way in the next uh, lesson. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so let's graph the line in red and the parabola in blue. Okay, let's uh, subtract 3x on both sides. So I'm going to go up to 4.5. So here's 4. So 4.5 is right about there. And then we'll go down 3 over 1 because the slope is negative 3. So down 3, there's down 2. So down 3-ish and then over 1. So I'll, uh, there's my line right there. <clears throat> okay. This uh, has vertex uh, 3, comma 0. So when we put in 3, 0, there it is right there. And then it's ready to go. Over 1, up a half of 1 squared. So if I go over 1, it's going to go up a half, which is just barely. I don't think I did that. I'm going to go over 2. So here's 2 right there. 2 squared is 4, and then half of that is 2, so it'll go up 2, okay? So there it is right there. It didn't quite hit the line right there. It's just on the side of the line. I'll go over th uh, 3 up, um, actually I went over 4, I think. So yeah, over 4, you kids are screaming out there. Over 4, up half of 4 squared, okay? So 4 squared is 16, half of that is 8. All right, so there's the parabola right there. So what's happening is, is this line is tangent to it. So you got to guess where it's tangent. I don't know, maybe right there, maybe right there. So just make a, an educated guess. There's only one spot where that line intersects. Now, if you said two, you know, as long as they were reasonable, I'm sure you'd get credit on that. But sometimes you'll only get one solution when the line is tangent to the parabola. So a guesstimate answer. All right. Okay, here, this one will give us some definite answers. Okay, so y equals negative 3x is right there. So negative 3x plus 0. 
And then this uh, vertex, this is x minus 0 squared, so the vertex is at 0, 6, so, and it's going down because it's negative, okay? So it's going down 3 times 1 squared, 3 times 2 squared, 3 times 3 squared. So over 1, down 3. Over 2, down 3 times 2 squared, which is 12. I can't go down 27. So there's the parabola. This one's really obvious. It's going through right there at uh, negative 1, 3, and it's going through at 2, negative 6 right there, okay? Sometimes, so that's the answers right there, sometimes you'll get a graph where they don't intersect at all, so the answer will be no solution. All right, you guys, if you're in our class, that's going to be your assignment right there. Take care.